So in this video, I'm going to go through some examples of solving quartic inequalities. So let's just dive straight in with number one, um, x plus two, x plus four, x plus six, three x minus 10 is less than zero. So go straight in with a sketch. And we are crossing the x-axis four times. So you start in the top left and work your way to the top right, OK? Because we've got a positive x to the four. So we are crossing through at minus six, minus four, minus two, and 10 thirds. So where is the graph below the x-axis? Well, it's there and there. So we've got two regions. x is greater than minus six, but less than minus four. Or x is greater than minus two, but less than 10 thirds. OK, so two distinct regions, two distinct inequalities. Right, number two. So with number two, uh, need to point out that we've got the minus 3x. So when you expand that, you get minus 3x to the 4. Well, actually, we're going to get a minus 6x to the 4. Um, but we're going to get a minus x, x to the 4 anyway. And so that means uh, we're going to start in the bottom left and work our way to the bottom right. Uh, we're still going to be crossing through at four distinct places. Um, so we've got um, 5 thirds minus 1 minus 5 halves and 0. So you've got the minus 5 halves minus 1, 0 and 5 thirds. Okay. So where is the graph below or equal to zero? Well, it's below it, there, there, and there. So we've got three regions, so we need three distinct inequalities. So x is less than or equal to minus 5 halves, or x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to zero, or x is greater than or equal to 5 thirds. Okay, so that's the second one. Right, number three. So this time, uh, I've tried to catch you out um, because I've got a minus x, minus x, minus x. So when you multiply out, you get a minus x cubed. So uh, minus x to the four in total. OK, so uh, we are going to have it starting in the bottom left and work its way to the bottom right. So you just need to make sure how many you've got. If I just had two, so if that had been x plus eight, then you would have minus x times minus x times pl plus x plus 7x, and so you would have got a positive x to the 4. OK? So just be careful with how many minuses you have. So we've got 3, so we're starting like that. OK, so we've got 2, 4, 8, and minus 3 sevenths. So minus 3 sevenths, 2, 4, and 8. And where is the graph above? The x-axis, well, there and there. So x is greater than minus 3 sevenths, but less than 2, or greater than 4, but less than 8. OK, and so that's our answer to number 3. Right, number 4. Ah, now this time I've got an x plus 1 squared, x minus 2, x minus 3. So we're going to have to be a little bit more careful about what's going on here. So we've got critical values at minus 1, 2, and 3. Now it's going to be a positive x to the 4. So we're coming down from the top left. And at minus 1, we're actually going to bounce on the x-axis. And then... We're going through at 2 and 3. So 2, 3, and that point is minus 1. So where it's asking, where is the graph above or equal to 0? Well, it's above or equal to it, actually, in this whole region, including that minus 1 and that region there. Now, be careful, because if that had been just greater than 0, then we wouldn't have been including x equals minus 1. So we would have had to have said x is not equal to minus 1 there. OK, so um, for this, the answer to that, we would be saying x is less than or equal to 2, or x is greater than or equal to 3. OK, 
Now, as an addendum, right, as an additional question here, if that had been just greater than zero, then I would have said, well, I can't have that point there, so x is not equal to minus 1. OK, I would have had to have identified that point isn't part of the solutions. OK. So that was number four. Right, let's just pop that back on. Right, number five, uh, x plus five squared, x minus five squared is less than zero. OK. So this is a positive x to the four. It's coming down from the top left. It's going to bounce and bounce again. And so we've got minus 5 and 5. And we're asking, where is the graph below the x-axis? Well, it never is. So there are no, um, no values of x for which this is true. Well, let's say no real values of x. Let's be correct. No real values of x for which this is true. OK. So if it had been uh, greater than or equal to 0, then we would have said this is true for all real values of x. Right, number 6. OK, so we've got x squared plus x plus 5, and x squared plus x plus 6 uh, is greater than or equal to 0. Right, now if you watched the video a couple of videos ago when I was doing the cubic examples. Um, I used a similar kind of example to this, where you identify that the discriminant of this is negative, and the discriminant of this one is negative. So actually this means that the cortic is not crossing the x-axis. It's a positive x to the 4, but it's looking like this. OK, it's totally above the x-axis. So when I'm asking where is this graph above the x-axis, well, I can say that this is true for all real values of x. OK, it's always above the x-axis. Right, so the last one, number 7. Um, the first thing I would want to do is rearrange this to get everything onto the left-hand side. So 2x to the 4 plus 9x cubed. And I'm going to take 62x squared from both sides. I'm going to take 219x from both sides. And I've got the plus 270. And that's less than or equal to 0. Now I'm going to put that through my cortex solver. OK, polynomial degree 4. So 2, 9, minus 62, minus 219, and 270. OK, and we're getting values of 5, 1, minus 9 halves, and minus 6. OK, so it's a positive x to the 4, so it's that way round. Uh, so we'd be at minus 6, minus 9 halves, 1 and 5. OK. And then we're asked, where is this graph below or equal to the x-axis? Well, there and there. So two regions, two distinct inequalities. x is greater than or equal to minus 6, or less than or equal to minus 9 halves. Or x is greater than or equal to 1, but less than or equal to 5. OK. And so that is how we can do that last one there. Now, I would be a fool not to try this in my inequality solver as well. So going to menu and then B, inequality, uh, degree 4. And I want less than or equal to 0, so that's option 4. So 2, 9, minus 62, minus 219, 270. And we get... Uh, minus 6 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to nine half, minus 9 halves, um, a comma, x is greater than or equal to 1, but less than or equal to 5. And so that confirms it. And so that's how we can solve quartic inequalities. <laughs>